Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariongi and we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is transport in plants and animals. So today uh, we are going to look at uh, the environmental factors that affect the rate of transpiration. So previously, uh, we looked at uh, the structural factors that affect the rate of transpiration and we saw that uh, structural factors are the factors within the leaf. So today we are going to discuss environmental factors and these are the factors in the environment. And then we shall find out how do they influence the rate of transpiration. Now, the first factor, I'll start with temperature. Temperature is an environmental factor. And what happens is uh, when, the, when the temperature is high, uh, it increases the internal heating of the leaf. It increases the internal heating of the leaf and that situation makes the water that is inside the leaf to vaporize and therefore diffuse out. So that enhances the rate of transpiration. On the other hand, when the temperature is high, uh, we can say that uh, the atmosphere has a higher capacity to hold more water vapor. It has a higher capacity to hold more water vapor, a situation that encourages more water loss from the, from the plant. So we can say that... Uh, High temperature increases internal heating of the leaf, which makes water to vaporize. Also, high temperature. increases the capacity for the atmosphere to hold more water, hence increasing the rate. the rate of transpiration. So uh, we, that is the case when the temperature is high. When the temperature is low, the opposite is true or the vice versa is true. And this shows that uh, when there is low temperature, there is low internal heating of the leaf, less vaporization of water and also a lower capacity for the atmosphere to hold water vapor. Now, the other factor uh, that we are going to talk about is wind or air currents. And of course, we know that wind is moving air. Now, it happens that uh, when the wind is strong, it carries away the water vapor as fast as it diffuses out of the leaf. And that creates a higher saturation deficit. That creates a higher saturation deficit, encouraging the rate of transpiration to increase. So we are saying that strong winds carry away water vapor 
as fast as it diffuses out of the leaf and this increases the saturation deficit thus increasing the rate thus increasing the rate of transpiration now the next uh, factor is humidity and of course this is the amount of moisture in the air the amount of moisture in the air so when there is more moisture in the air we say that the air is humid and when there is less moisture in the air we say that the air is less humid so in this case what happens is when the air is humid it has a lower capacity to hold more water it has a lower capacity to hold more water and therefore it means that the plant will have a tendency to lose less water when the humidity is high and in this case uh, uh, the argument here is that the atmosphere is already saturated with moisture and therefore does not need any more so in this case we can say that uh, uh, high humidity lowers the saturation deficit which reduces the rate of transpiration so there is this word saturation deficit that we are mentioning in these points saturation deficit simply means the moisture difference between the atmosphere and the inside of the leaf so if there is a very big difference between the moisture in the air and that which is inside the leaf then there is a high rate of transpiration but if the saturation deficit, deficit is low that means they have almost the same level then the rate of uh, transpiration will be reduced so we can say Now, the other factor uh, is light intensity. And what happens is that light intensity influences, influences the opening of stomata. It influences the opening of stomata. For example, during the day, when the light intensity is very high the stomata tend to open more and that encourages uh, the transpiration rate to to increase because there is more exposure to the atmosphere for water loss to take place so you can see that when the light intensity is high higher than normal the stomata open more exposing
the open more thus becoming uh, exposed which exposes them more to the atmosphere for water loss number 5 all these are environmental factors that affect the rate of transpiration number 5 atmospheric pressure and this is the pressure exerted by atmospheric gases so you can say that the higher the atmospheric pressure the higher the resistance by the atmosphere to take in to take in moisture hence reducing the rate of transpiration then finally water availability and we can say that uh, water loss is dependent on the wetness of mesophyll cells so the more wet the cells are the higher the rate the higher the rate of transpiration So basically we have seen six factors or six environmental factors that affect the rate of transpiration starting from temperature wind humidity uh light intensity atmospheric pressure and finally water availability so the assignment for today So the two questions that formed our today's assignment the first question what is saturation deficit number 2 explain how the following factors influence the rate of transpiration a humidity light intensity and c atmospheric pressure so we stop there for today goodbye